Hey everyone, day 18 of my painting challenge. I uh, finished my second flying hive, hive tyrant. Um, as you can see, we got this all based up and everything. So um, let's look at it real quick, uh, a little closer. Again, the wings. Um, just added the yellow to them from yesterday and looking good. The body. Here we go. Let's focus in on it a little bit better. There we go. Got the body. Now I made a pretty amateurish mistake. Um, there's some white flecks here. I'll have to kind of try to push off. But I used the uh, anti-shine mat, you know, to protect the paint from finger oils and everything. And I used a little too much on this side, and I had to redo it. It was kind of a just a mistake on my part. I'll have to. I, I fixed it already. But it was, I was like, crap, I just sprayed just a little too much on it and started getting all white and milky, and that's never a good thing in with the models. Ooh. Maybe I'll throw a little yellow there on that, that purple. I missed that real quick. But there's my basing scheme, just some uh, scrub-looking stuff with rocks. I think it looks really cool for the model and doesn't detract too much from it. Next I'll show you guys the guy, the flyrant all put together. Alright, so here he is from the front view. Got the black in the background so it makes his colors pop out a little bit better. You can see. Oh yeah. Got the purple on him, which I do on all of my synapse creatures. Spin him around. He's kind of fragile. He's still got a like another magnet in his uh, body joint area. Otherwise, he keeps falling on his face. And that's kind of he's a derp, a derperent right now, I guess. So that's something I need to really work on is my pinning and my magnetizing, make it better for these uh, big guys, because. Uh, I don't really need them falling apart and having to spend a lot of time putting them back together all the time during a match. So, yeah, there we go. I think he looks, I don't know, I, I think he looks stunning. So, give me your opinions, let me know what you think, and uh, leave a comment. Yeah.